Hi everybody, it's the Flutie Princess, Trisha Jansen. I didn't get to show you the finished product of the Hungarian goulash yesterday because I got invited to a vegan cooking class. So I wanted to just recap really quick. I didn't get to eat my Hungarian goulash yesterday because I was feasting on uh, vegan food. I don't know, whatever it was. So I wanted to recap what I did yesterday. You can certainly find the video from yesterday. But basically I took about three pounds of stew meat to make this Hungarian goulash. I used bacon fat to uh, saute the meat. Uh, I did the onions first, about three onions worth, diced them up really, uh, really well. I sauteed those so they were light and, and translucent, removed them from the pan. I went ahead and did uh, three onion, or the meat with the paprika, about two tablespoons. This is the kind I used. Really good Hungarian dark paprika. It's sweet, it's got a little bit of a uh, spice to it, but it's really sweet, I love it. Uh, some garlic, about two cloves of garlic. Again, the three onions. I used a can of tomato paste. I used beef stock. I just have beef bouillon or beef broth here today, but I used stock yesterday. Salt and pepper, very simple. You let it simmer like a stew for about two hours. And you can see, if you watched yesterday, the meat is so tender and it just gets this beautiful gravy that I'm gonna serve, and I'm just gonna show you. I made some buttered noodles. I bought some really good quality uh, German um, pasta, it's egg noodles. Just threw some butter, a little bit of seasoning, and parsley. And then over here, I've just done some, my kids love garlic bread, so I did some garlic bread. I did some uh, sauteed zucchini, which is olive oil, uh, a little bit of garlic, and salt and pepper. And I'm just gonna spoon a ladle of this beautiful, goulash. I'm trying to do it while I'm videoing, so it's a little difficult. And then you literally top it with a dollop of sour cream. And then, of course, I would do parsley. Now, I had fresh parsley yesterday, but because I was distracted and I went to my vegan class, somebody <laughs> tossed my fresh parsley. So I'm just going to do a little dash of dried, you know, in a blind. You do what you got. But this is wonderful. You mix the sour cream in with the, the, the sauce, and I'm telling you guys, it is amazing. If you have any questions, you can send me a message. Billy, <laughs> I've known you since high school. If you wanted to marry me, you could have married me then. <laughs> anyway, if you have any questions, go ahead and look at uh, the video from yesterday. It's on my page. But this is just, it's a, it's a very peasant meal. It's very simple, and it just stews all day. You could definitely do this in a crock pot. You know, you could do this in the morning. I would definitely brown off the meat in a pan first, though, and then put it in the crock pot. But this could cook all day, and this loveliness would be waiting for you when you get home. It's so good. And, of course, if you've got picky eaters, I have one son that will just eat butter noodles. So, you know, he's going to eat butter noodles and be so happy. Delicious. All right, my family's hungry. They're waiting to eat this deliciousness. So good. So delicious. Stay tuned. Please look at my um, Footy Princess uh, Facebook page for more cooking, and I will see you guys later.